morning YouTube uh, sitting here just woke up same clothes on as yesterday Gemma's in my lap say hi Gemma she's kind of a stuck up hi Gemma um, doing the YouTube pagan challenge week 7 the question is um, how do you view sacred text and mythology um, first of all, I want to say that sacred text and mythology are very interesting. I think you can learn a lot from it. Um, like I really like Greek mythology and, um, as far as sacred text goes, things such as the Bible and, um, you know, other Abrahamic religions that have sacred texts. Um, I think there's value in them, but I also think that there's ignorance in them. I think, I think people sometimes view those sacred texts as the end all be all of everything and in today's society and probably even back then um you it was kind of like a high school class system where you were either in with the in crowd or you were out and if you were out unfortunately nine times out of ten <laughs> you got hi macy sorry this is macy um hi macy Nine times out of ten, you either got burnt at the stake or were outcast or excommunicated. So, why I think they have value in people's religions today. Um, I think that they also created a lot of fear and panic. And, um... Like, I view sacred text as, like, a historical document something that happened way back when that some text could still apply to today and some text should probably be revised but because it's a sacred text it's not gonna be revised or amended so um, I'm all distracted by the dogs right now and it's early Um, and let me just show you. I have over here, what do I have? I have a couple different Bibles in my house. And they're dusty because I haven't flipped through them in a while. You mongrels are getting on my last nerve. I'm trying to make a video and they're like, throw the ball, mom, throw the ball. Anyhow, I actually, even though I'm pagan, I actually do have New King James Version of the Holy Bible. Some people might not know that about me. Some people might think that I am completely 100% anti-Christian, which I'm not. I am not a Christian hater. I am not any religion hater. What I do despise is someone trying to shove it down your throat and or convert you or tell you that you're wrong for what you believe in. Now, with that said, I also... Oh, and as you can tell, I have little bookmark pages of things that I have read and either liked or thought something about and you know or did not understand blah 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 and then I also have um but I'm not gonna get on a whole bible rant right now um that's another video another time another place I also have a witch's bible the complete witch's handbook by Janet and Stuart Farr or Farrar, I don't know. I don't know how to say their last name. 
I have not gotten very far into this one. I bought it probably about a year ago. Um, and I also was trying to do my um, year in a day, which I have a book over there by somebody. I'm not sure who his name is, but I think I only made it to day 12. So, um, that's, I know it's not really a sacred text, but I think going through the process and learning your spiritual journey and all of that, it's important. So that's why I just wanted to mention it here. Um, and I'm not sure exactly where that book is or I would show it to you. So I do have this one as well. That's the second Bible that is in my house. Now, this might scare some people, but... And it actually, it scared me until I got it and started to read it a little bit and understand more about it. Um, and people might think I'm crazy for having this in my house too, but um, I think it's a form of sacred text. It's someone's religion and faith. So why shouldn't it be explored just like I explore Buddhism or just like I explore Islam or any other faith or culture? So, I also have, which I don't know how to say his name either, um, I'm just going to try it and see, Anton, <laughs> that was Macy yawning, <laughs> shut up dog, let me throw this ball again, <laughs> um, anyways, I have the <laughs> Satanic Bible by Anton Sandar Lav. La Vie. I don't know. I don't know how to say his name, but anyways, here it is for you. Um, and it's the smallest of the three. So, um, I have a couple different sacred texts and Bibles, so to speak, from all, I mean, these three, although there may be some similarities, very few minute similarities between the three, there are major differences and um, and I think they all have value they all have value not just to my practice or my faith um, or the path that I'm going down spiritually but for other people that follow them as well I think the thing that needs to be realized is just because you believe in a certain thing or you follow a certain faith doesn't mean that anyone else is less or anyone else is wrong because of what they choose to follow and believe. So those are my views on sacred texts. Um, I have a couple different ones in my home. There might be others, which I don't know where they're at right now. Um, after my religion class that I took in college, I was going to get, um, which is on my wish list on Amazon still, um, I'm not sure who it's by, but it's a book about Buddhism. Um, so, I would say that for me, my path is very eclectic. Um, I am by no means a Christian. I am by no means 100% Wiccan. I am by no means 100% anything. So, um, I have went to Christian churches before. I have prayed to God before. Um... But it just doesn't fit in my life right now. Other things spiritually and other things earth-centered fit in my life right now. So that's what I'm doing. And at the end of my life, if, you know, God, lowercase g, decides that I've lived my life wrong for doing that and condemns me to hell, which I do not believe exists, um, then so be it. You live and you learn. So there you go. And this video is getting kind of long and I'm kind of going on a tangent. So, and my dogs are getting a little restless because they want me to play with them this morning. So I'm going to let you go. If you have any questions or comments, leave. Yes, Macy. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I will see you guys next time.